hello and welcome to another Angling Direct Quick Bite. And I'm out pike fishing today, but I'm going to take a few moments to talk you through something that you might think is really simple, but I see lots of pike anglers still get it wrong. And that's the correct way to hook a dead bait. And I'm fishing the dead bait static on the bottom today. So the first important thing is to use the right size trebles compared to the bait that you're using. And I've got quite a big bait I'm now going to put on here. It's, it's a large heron. So I've got two size four semi-barbed trebles. So if you get your top treble and find the prong that's got a barb on it, and that wants to go into the root of the tail of the fish. Now that's a nice tough part of the fish. So that's going to take the strain of the cast and make sure that your bait doesn't come off. And then straighten the wire trace down the length of the dead bait. And again, find the point that's got a barb on it and hook that into the flank of the dead bait. Now, the reason we hook them this way round is because a pike will 99% of the time take a dead bait head first. And by taking it head first, all the gill covers and the fins on the fish fold back and it makes it a lot easier for the pike to take the dead bait. And because our hooks are that way round, when they pick up the dead bait head first and we wind down and we set the hooks, the hook points are ready to penetrate into the pike. If we had the hooks the other way round and a pike got hold of them, as you strike, the hook points wouldn't be pointing the right way to set the hooks. So lastly, this is quite a big dead bait, this one. So I am just gonna cut the head off the bait and that does two things. It makes it a bit more manageable for the pike and I think it adds a bit more attraction.